Anderson. Today, Barry, I'm singing on you, and we are having fun. This is Trinidad. I'm here to learn about Caribbean cuisine and the fantastic ingredients and dishes that give each island its own special character. I've come to unlock the Caribbean's culinary secrets. I can't wait. We are feeling glad to see you. I'm going to film a nice documentary about Chef Gary in Trinidad. Happy England. I'm here with my two assistants, Barrington and Hassan, and we're looking forward to finding out more about the amazing mix of food that this island has in store for us. And to help me do that, I'm lucky enough to have a great Trinidadian chef with me as my guide, Fazal Bacchus. So Fazal, it's been an education to me already just entering the country to find out there's so many different styles. You get those yeah. spicy Asian flavors and spicy uh, Creole flavors. And here, of course, is where there's such a strong Indian influence, isn't there, in food? Yes, it is. What they do, they took local ingredients and they created similar dishes right. that you would find in India. Well, it smells absolutely delicious here, so what are you going to introduce me oh, to? Oh, we have, um, on this side, we have some doubles. Doubles as a bit of an Asian influence. You have a bit of a potato and chickpea curry yep. uh, in the midst of an Indian-influenced bread made from split peas and flour. Curried chickpea. Yeah, it's a, it's a flavoured curry. First Slightly thing in the flavored. morning? Oh, yeah. Light yeah. curry. What nice. else did you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> It looks fantastic. Yes, yeah, it's, it's awesome. very nutritious. There's got to be a technique here. There's yeah. got to be a technique. you got to go and assume that. <laughs> what you guys are thinking. I want Otherwise... everything on That's it. So you take one off and use that to Sorry. mop up the rest. Yeah, you do so again. Okay, so you're spreading the mix evenly between the two Correct. pancakes. Perfect. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. <laughs> Outstanding. What's the thing with doubles? Hassan and Barrington both had very good reasons for wishing to accompany me on this trip. But for Hassan in particular, this trip to Trinidad was always going to be special. Definitely. So lovely to be back home, you know. It's so lovely to be back in sweet Trinidad. It's where I'm from originally. And, well, I've looked forward so much for this leg of, you know, of the, our tour on Caribbean cuisine. Some of the things that we are embarking on on this trip, it's, it's what I grew up doing, you know. It's just going to be a wonderful time for me. Liming is a great word, used here in the Caribbean to describe hanging out and drinking with friends. Now, we've already seen the influence of Indian cuisine here in Trinidad, so Hassan has taken a trip to experience curry, Trinidadian style, and go liming by the river. Hassan was born in Trinidad and his son still lives here, so this was a great opportunity for him to travel back to the area he grew up in. Coming up on our journey, you know, the lovely views, the, you know, the, the fresh green grass, it was just giving me that warmth inside of me, you know, just wonderful. On my way up, we passed by my old, you know, primary school and such fun memories, you know. Well, Liming. It's just like if you're, you know, you're hanging out in the pub, but when you're in the Caribbean, you have the choice of, you know, being at the riverside or you go to the beach or, you know, you're just enjoying company and enjoying nature, you know. But it's just getting together, the good food, the good vibes, with liming, you know. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what's going on here, man? You all right, partner? Oh, thanks. Good, good. Oh, so who went in? Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see it going on, you know, cards going on, food cooking over here. We're just by the river. What more we want, you know? Oh, yeah. oh, Today we had some lovely food at the riverside from our, you know, our chef, Ricardo. Classic riverside curry duck. Yeah. What's next? put some season, right? Okay then. As I say, we have a little... Onions. Yeah. Put in the whole pepper like that, yeah? Yeah. So that's gonna just... Everything will just flavor up inside, okay. right? Alright then. Only thyme, garlic, whatnot, right? You need any more of this? Yeah. Alright. Once the season is up nice, always less than more. You can always add to the pot, right? Uh, so always less, uh, less than more. I like so that. So your season. You know, where's this? Green mangoes? Yeah. yeah. 
Julie Mango, Kikambas, like the starter. Yeah. Before the main course yeah. comes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, chef. So I'll put the spot here for you. Uh, going and bust a little line with that crew over there. Yeah, so can have a game of we go bounce up. Just so again, put it. All right then. Very nice. I can't wait. <laughs> How often do you you guys come up here to Lyman Shop? Very often. Sometimes we do it two, three times a week. Uh, it's really, you know, bringing back a lot of uh, my, my boy days in Trinidad and, you know, That's really enjoying this lime. Oh! <laughs> These are some of my school friends, you know, who I grew up with, you know, who I played marbles with, cricket. That's who I had fun with whilst I was growing up, you know. Liming in Trinidad, it's it's basically an everyday, you know, it, yeah. you, you, you just turn up and Come to the you, meet, you meet some of your close friends, you meet people you don't know and we just, the bonding, it's just wonderful, you know. Alright. Yeah, yeah, taste of some of that. Oh, guys, make it. What do you call this again? Opargar. Okro, Opargar. tomatoes, everything, so you know? Roasted okros. Let's roast it out. Yeah, yeah. and well, they're roti. And you're just gonna have that with somebody. Mm, 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 like I dribble on toy. Oh, boy. Oh, like to dive in with me, you know? Yeah. We can share this one. Now you have now. Take a bite of them. Take a bite of them. How is it? <laughs> tapa tapa quality stuff. This is a sweet hand. They call oh, God. this. Like Trini. Nice. Trini pot. Trini nice. pot. Ooh, very nice food. After eating, what what you need more? Some some nice music, some traditional Trinidad music that will help create you know the nice vibe. It adds to the whole atmosphere and the whole enjoyment of. Liming, you know? So, Hassan, it looks as if you enjoyed that. I mean, in your hometown. My old stomping ground, you know, it was just nice to be back there, you know, and friends, and just the lime, it was sweet lime, you know, we had such a good time. Trinidad's been phenomenal, and it's lived up to all the expectations that I was wanting. Yeah. Oh, coming back home was just, you know, just the icing on the cake of this trip so far, you know. It gave me an opportunity to spend some time with my son again, you know. Just to be with him, you know. Just, just lovely, just lovely. I hope we, you know, we've given and we've shown what Trinidadian cookery is about. Now on this trip, we want to try everything from street food to fine dining. Trinidad, I've been more than surprised about. It's a beautiful, beautiful island, and I had nothing but a huge love for the food of Trinidad. Quite sensational. The nicest thing is I've got two guys that I'm working with. They work hard, they come up with the goods. But have we got any of the, the ingredients the to show? Yeah. Yes, I think. Oh, good man. Um, the most yeah. of it is here. And at the same time, huge personalities, their own personalities as well. When you put them together, oh, what a double act, what a double act. You do the cooking, <laughs> we do the tasting. <laughs> Fazl, what a great chef to work with, a true, true professional. He knew what he wanted from each dish. He didn't let me get away with anything. But uh, when the dish was done, I think those big smiles he gave gave me a seal of approval that, yeah, it's OK, Gary, we've come up with the goods. For details of recipes and more tips and advice, visit uktvfood.co.uk.